to our goal participants from around the world. I'm Fiona Lang-Sharp, IBCLC Public Relations Manager and MC for Gold Learning. Well, I have the pleasure of sitting down and chatting with Tom Johnson Jr. this morning. How are you, Tom? Oh, I'm just wonderful. Thank you. Well, thank you for taking this time out. I know you're on a busy schedule today, so we'll get right to it. Uh, but I do want to let our listening audience know that you're going to be speaking at our upcoming Gold Lactation Online Conference for 2017. This will be our 11th anniversary. And you are speaking to a fabulous topic, the maternal child microbiome or the orobubular axis. Now, did I say it right, Tom? You did, yes. <laughs> Perfect. So, Tom, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to the audience and then perhaps tell them what your practice looks like on a day-to-day -day basis. Certainly. So, my name is Tom Johnston. You can see my mother named me Gerald, but I've always been, I've always gone by Tom. Um, I am a midwife and a lactation consultant, um, and I spent most of my practice in the United States Army, uh, where I did 27 years uh, before retiring um, uh, as the chief of midwives for the local military base. Um, currently, I work uh, at uh, Methodist University here in Fayetteville, North Carolina, where I teach uh, undergraduate nursing. Primarily, I teach nutrition and the maternal child health nursing course. Um, in my private practice, I have a, a home health uh, lactation practice with myself and a team of five other IBCLCs. We uh, visit uh, new mothers in their homes and help them with breastfeeding. Um, we pre predominantly deal uh, with a, a military population, um, but we, we see anybody basically uh, who needs our help. Um, wow. Yeah. That's fantastic. I, I I actually don't think I knew all of that. There was pieces that I knew, but it's great to hear. But you sound like you're, that keeps you hopping and your family and everything else. That's fantastic. So you're very active for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to mention my family, but I am the father of eight children. And uh, so uh, my wife is also a neonatal intensive care nurse. So together, uh, babies and breastfeeding is kind of what we do. That's for your life. 24-7, yeah, yeah. whole world, right? That's fantastic. Yep. Well, that probably leads to why you're doing this fantastic topic. And uh, I'll tell you, this is one of the, the hot topics that we've been talking about at Gold this year. And uh, and also in the office, we, we have lots of conversations about the microbiome. But I think that there really is a lot of conversation going on. Um, but perhaps you can tell me why this topic is really important to you, Tom. Well, you know, the, I'm absolutely fascinated by the maternal child microbiome. I stumbled on this topic a couple of years ago, and it really, uh, it really connected. I really connected with it. Um, you know, we hear over and over again how wonderful breastfeeding is and how magical it is, how it prevents diarrhea, prevents respiratory illness, that kind of thing. Um, the microbiome helps explain how that actually works. Um, when we start talking about human milk oligosaccharides and uh, the, uh, the 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 pluripotent stem cells um, in the maternal child in, in the in the in the, the breast milk, um, you'll you'll get an understanding of, of why it is that breastfeeding is so protective, or more specifically, why artificial milk feeding uh, doesn't protect children from their environment. Um, I really uh, picked up a a, a very um, I don't know almost evolutionary way of looking at it, or a very mammalian way of looking at it, um, where uh, I, 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 I like to think about humans as, as animals, as mammals, and about how we are designed to survive and how babies are designed to survive, um, despite what we do to them uh, oftentimes, but how, um, how I, I guess, how very um, united we are so to speak with all the other an members of the animal kingdom i just it just it fascinates me i i, I could talk about it all day if, if someone <laughs> would let me just sit and talk about the microbiome for 24 straight hours i probably would never shut up oh well that's wonderful well that, that that I can understand now why you put this presentation together and, and why you're so passionate about it. Um, and I love that word that you used, um, that we are really united as mammals. And so, yeah, it's good. I can't wait to hear more of what you've discovered um, in putting this presentation together and what your research has uh, shown you. So lastly, before I let you go, Tom, could you maybe share a little bit of what you're looking forward to uh, sharing with the delegates and what you're hoping that they'll get away from? A takeaway from this presentation. 
Well, the, the two main things that I'm, I'm just really looking forward to talking about. One is the, uh, um, the, the concept of human milk oligosaccharides um, as a kind of a probiotic and how, um, you know, humans have 110 human milk oligosaccharides. Uh, cows have two oligosaccharides in their milk. Um, it really goes to explain the, the, the very complex nature of human milk and why why cow's milk is, is such a poor substitute for human milk. Um, and the other one is the second part of the topic, the orobubular axis. Um, the reason that's there is, is to show that the baby actually communicates with the breast and the breast communicates with the baby. Um, and when you talk about, you, you'll hear people talk about how um, every feeding is individual and how every baby's breast milk is different, or every mother's breast milk is different and individual for her, fan, her baby. It's actually the baby that makes that happen. Kind of like he puts an order in for the next feeding, uh, as it were, like he's at a cafeteria or something. Um, and, and that really is, is very fascinating to me. Um, it, 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 um, it really helps explain a whole lot about this magical concept of breast milk that we've known for very, very many years, but today's science is finally making it so we can understand it. Oh, that's fantastic. You, you really have got me excited uh, about wanting to talk more. I think you and I could probably, we could talk all day about this. Um, it just seems like it's, for me, reading about the microbiome right now, Tom, it just seems like it's endless and I love eating it up because it, just, it makes so much sense Finally, you know, we've got some real science, like you said, behind it. So I uh, can't wait to hear more. Thank you for being here today. It's been lovely chatting with you. Certainly. It was lovely chatting with you, too. Thank you. Yeah, and for our listening audience, do join us for the full presentation at our Gold Lactation Online Conference. Uh, Tom is going to be speaking on Monday the 24th. Check the website, as usual, for all of your local times, and we'll look forward to having you join us. Well, thank you again, Tom, for joining us today, and thank you for our audience for listening in. Bye-bye for now, everyone.